Hey everybody. So I have a television coil. Here's the parts of it. Um, I think it's called the flyback coil. I never was a TV person, so forgive me if I don't say that right. But there's the um, remains of the coil that I had taken apart. And I unwound one of the halves here onto a spool, an empty wire spool. So I got a fair amount of wire. See there's the empty spool, same size. So I got a fair amount of wire from one half of this television coil. So that goes in the garbage. I still have to unwind the other half. Now these are not glued on, they're just wrapped loosely. There's a little bit of hot glue holds them in place. These are not glued on. The other one, the outside coils, are enameled together. But you can pull it apart. So I've got a fair amount of wire strung out on the floor in here that I was pulling apart from this one here. So I'm going to wind that onto a spool and then I'll have my two different gauges of wire for my Bedini motor. So I'll be making a Bedini motor again here soon using all salvage materials. Now I went to where did I get these? Hobby Lobby and I found some ceramic magnets, eight pieces for $269 and then I got some heavy heavy duty craft magnets there's uh, three pieces for $599 at Hobby Lobby. Well three pieces is perfect for a fidget spinner Bedini motor I don't think my, what was that, is my desk not straight? Something's hitting something. Anyway, so I've got some magnets and they're almost perfect to fit on the fidget spinner. Now, um, these are magnetic, this is the, the press-in pieces that go on the wings of the fidget spinner. I have some loose ones here. And they happen to be magnetic material. So I'm not sure how that hole and that is going to affect the magnetic field until I put some filings on a piece of paper and check out the pattern, the waveform, or the magnetic form. Although, with the if I do the north sides facing out one way, um, I don't know how it'll work. Another idea, one thing I could do, is to turn this over and have north pole motor on one side and a south pole motor on the other side and there you've got a double sided uh, Bedini motor and you can make a six coil motor out of that and that might bring the waveform back into shape because now you're closing up that hole in the middle but again I won't be able to know until I mess with some, some filings on a sheet and see what kind of a waveform we got which probably would be a fun video in itself I'll have to go and find some uh, black dirt with a strong magnet on a, a trash or a plastic bag and harvest some black dirt to do that with. I don't know if you guys have ever put a magnet on a uh, sheet of paper or under a sheet of paper with, with uh, magnetic filings on it, iron filings. But anyway, there's one option, having a double-sided uh, north pole on one side, south pole motor on the other, Bedini motor. But for starters, I am going to make a three pole or a three magnet north pole motor and put these on there and uh, make myself a fidget spinner. So there's the plan so far. Again, I'm not sure how these are affected, so I'm definitely going to have to mess with that and figure that out. Definitely going to have to check that. But with the magnets on there, it's even an, he an even heavier flywheel, so it'll really spin good with those bearings. So anyway, that's the updates I have so far. Got coils coming apart here, got some magnets on the fidget spinner over here, and then I've got to take them apart and uh, find a um, nylon... Uh, bolt that'll go through there into the wood because I want the less metal I have in the middle the better 
although I don't know if it's going to change much because there's a metal bearing um, that close to the magnets. Another interference is that metal bearing right that close to the magnets on such a small Bedini motor. But I've had smaller motors running before, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it so far. Try from the do it yourself world electronics, recycling materials to make another Bedini motor here. So stay tuned um, for updates and see what I come up with here.